Hey everyone, happy 2021. Let's kick off the new year with what else? The color of the year. Every year, Benjamin Moore, a paint company of course, chooses that one paint color that best reflects the current overall mood and trend. Last year's color was a pale pink called First Light, and in their own words, it was meant to be a revitalized spirit, a soft rosy hue, blooming with potential, the backdrop for a bright new decade. Huh? Well, I guess they didn't see the pandemic that was about to hit the world. Somehow, I don't think pale pink is the right color to reflect all that was the year 2020. But hindsight is, as they say, 2020. See what I did there? Okay. Actually, what would you say is the best color to reflect 2020? I'm curious to see your responses in the comments below. I know what I would say. Okay, moving on. The color of the year for 2021, according to Benjamin Moore, is called Aegean Teal a year-long exploration of art, design, fashion, the environment, and culture from around the world has culminated in this one blue-green color named after the Aegean Sea. So it's Aegean Teal. According to them, it's the perfect color to take a moment and reset. Intriguing, balanced, and deeply soothing. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of teal, not unless it's full-on teal like this. This front hall is just a dream with that all over analogous color scheme. It's a real commitment. Go all out with teal walls, green trim, and a blue door. The key here is that touch of black in the stair railing and those gold and copper touches of hardware and accessories. A true farmhouse beauty. And speaking of farmhouses, I love this color for a farmhouse kitchen, especially in the cabinetry. It's charming and lovely. Here are a few other ways to use this color. It's a breath of fresh air for your laundry room. I love it in small but important built-ins like this. I especially love the beadboard detail here. Again, pair it with rich yellows and golds like the brass hardware and the straw colored pillow and baskets. It will make you want to do laundry or as an accent color on built-ins like this. And if you're like me and aren't ready to commit to teal all over, I like the idea of painting one special piece this bright color. Or you could take a neutral room and add that spot of color like this. The key, mix in various shades of blue and green, since that's basically what teal is, and you've got an easy way to add this year's color of the year into any room in your home without it looking predictable. And add small touches of orange into the mix and you'll be doing it right. But maybe you're not a fan of AG and teal at all. That's okay, because Benjamin Moore always picks an entire palette of colors for the year, and this year's Color Trends palette for 2021 looks like this. This new palette is a great way to introduce a whole new color concept for your home. They all work beautifully together. This year, the palette features lots of warm and inviting earth tones. Here are some of my favorites. There's always a great white paint color, and this time it's called Atrium White, and it pairs well with all those deep colors in the palette. Remember, white always lets you see the color next to it, so it's perfect for trim color. That's why paint chips have the little white strip between the colors. Gray cashmere is one of my all-time favorite grays and looks so serene in bedrooms. The perfect backdrop for a good night's sleep. And two colors that I'm absolutely loving together are Amazon Soil and Rosy Peach. Definitely not your boring matchup. These two colors are equal in visual strength and provide a rich, deep feeling without being too intense. I love that strong combination. And yellow has made a strong appearance in this year's palette. Beacon Hill Damask is lovely and soft, along with Chestertown Buff and Muslin. All of them are warm and comfy colors. 
add in a touch of potter's clay and I think Benjamin Moore is telling us it's time to add color to those gray and white interiors we've been seeing for some years now. It's color, but it's not super intense. They're not bright. They're warm, sun-baked, aged, and nourishing colors. It's a welcome change for all of us, I think. Now, I always say when it comes to specific paint colors, keep in mind your own lighting conditions and always test it out. What you actually see on your screen right now depends on so many variables. So test it out in real life before you go full steam ahead. Check out my design lesson video on how to choose paint colors for your home. It's a great resource and I'll link it below along with a whole bunch of other paint color videos, including a recap of all the other colors of the year from the past several years. So here's your takeaway. If you love teal, then you're going to love Aegean teal. It's the color of the sea, harmonious and reflective and soothing. A perfect color for full on commitment with combinations of blue and green. Or special touches in a sea of neutral and gray. Mix it with gold, orange and clay for a welcoming warmth. Thanks for watching this little design tip. We'll have lots more design tips just like this one coming soon, so don't forget to subscribe. If you're loving this year's color of the year, make sure to let me know in the comments below and what color you think was most appropriate for last year. And don't forget, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. See you soon.